Hello YouTube, it's Christopher Lawrence, and um, today I'm going to tell you about my coming out story. I mean, I think I'm more gay than bi, but I'm just going to say it for once. So it all started out in 7th grade. So this guy was like, you know, I want to go out with you, and I think you're cute, and aren't you? I was like, yeah. Because, I mean, I don't know who I am right now, I'm, try I'm still trying to find me, but anyways, um... Uh, yeah, and, like, he said that, um, you know, he thinks I'm his everything, and, you know, I'm his world, when, you know, I really loved the dude for seven months, you know, it took a lot for me to get over him. But, anyways, back to the story. First time we dated, um, he, I went to his party, and he didn't want anybody to know that I was dating him, because he might have thought it was awkward. The second time, um, I had sex with him. Yeah. I mean, I didn't necessarily have sex. I did sexual actions with clothes on. But, um, yeah. Uh, and then I told my best friend, and unfortunately, she couldn't keep a secret. So, she told everybody, and then he found out. So, um, yeah, I mean, I got over him, but, uh, I mean, now it's all different. But anyways, um... You know, I mean, I really still did have the feelings for the dude, but, like, you know, I didn't think it was right for me. You know, I thought he was my everything. But, I mean, until a couple, you know, months ago, I found out how he was being such a douchebag to me and how, like, he... I was annoyed by him. So, yeah, but, I mean... I mean, then we went out again before I moved. But, like, uh... Yeah, but, um... About three weeks ago... I went on a gay support page about, you know, supporting gay rights, and, you know, I met my boo there. I added him. He's like, text me, and I was like, okay. And then we started from there. He thought I was cute, and then he thought I was gorgeous, and he thought I was hot. So, you know, I mean, I'm going out with him now, but, I mean, he's my everything. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, when I told the school, like, at my old school, it was really hard because, um, you know, I thought people were going to think of me, you know, as the faggot. You know, I mean, nobody likes to be called a faggot at all. You know, or any of those hurtful names. But, like, you know, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it wasn't right for them to do that. Because, you know, that was, that was just wrong. I mean, everybody accepted me. Because, to be, I mean, regardless, there was, like, more bi and gay people than straight people. There was a couple straight people. Most of them were bi and sexual or gay. Or lesbian. But, um, yeah, that's basically my coming out story. I mean, I haven't told anybody here because I'm in the redneck country, you know? I'm, and I'm always going to be Yankee. I'm never going to be a redneck. But, um, you know, just, yeah, I mean, I because, like, it's redneck and, you know, not many gay people are here. So, yeah, that's basically my coming out story. I mean, I've told my mom and dad, and, like, at my old school, I got sent to the office for being bisexual, which I thought was, like, totally sexual orientational ra racist, <laughs> because, you know, I'm not supposed to be sent to the office for being bisexual. You know, that's just not right at all. So, like, um... You know, I had to tell my dad in front of the office. So, you know, I thought it wasn't very right of them. So, um, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I mean, I believe I'm gay. You know. But, you know, it's, I mean, it's hard to find a person, you know, Mr. Right or Mr. One, you know, down here because it's so redneck and, like, people are so serious. So, that's basically my coming out story. And, yeah. Bye. <laughs>